Welcome back to Learn PHP the Easy Way. And so we have been writing some functions that are going to make our lives easier. Rather than having to look this up in the database, we were able to write a couple lines of code and it'll immediately tell us if somebody has checked in or checked out. And then we've also made something else for their names so we can echo out their name or list whether they're unknown. And so we can actually get rid of this line of code here. The next thing we need to do is we need to make some kiosk pages for people to check in and check out and so again this is more for the style of check in and check out like a uh, just you're checking into school or out of school not necessarily into a particular class and we may add that feature later but what we're going to do is we are going to look at our kiosks here and if you see we have this one here called kiosk check balance and so if i were to take that one well, let's just pull that up on the screen here so if i go to kiosk check balance i have one of these plain kiosk pages and so the idea would be let's say you have people coming into school or whatever and they're just scanning 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 you don't want to have to sit there and, and have anybody have to manually type something in here you just want it to go right here scan and go scan and go so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this page and we're going to call it um, checkin.php and we'll make a separate one for checkout so that we can leave them kind of unattended. And so if we look at this page here, this is the form and this is that JavaScript that we had at the bottom that was basically after five seconds, it would redirect back to the, uh, to the page, to the, the, in this situation the check balance page let's comment that out for now i don't think we're going to use that uh i think we'll just leave it we'll just leave the person's name up there i think that's probably the better way to, to go so if we look at this form the only thing i think i want to change here is i want to change this from get to post and because we're not gonna i don't want to keep the person's uh rfid number up in the address bar not that it's a real secure thing but i don't want to do it so then the other thing we want to say here is we just want to say this check in here okay like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to come back to the top and we'll just kind of work our way through this so if not empty so we still have this thing called search we're instead of saying get if not empty post search and again the only thing we're doing here is not putting the search term in the um, in the address bar. So if not empty search, then search term, which is basically their RFID badge equals input get search. And then we're going to go to the database and we're going to, uh, select really, it doesn't matter. We can just select ID from students where RFID equals this. And then we're going to see, did we find anybody? And then the question is, you know, what, what happens at that point? So, I'm going to slow down for a minute because I feel like I might be going a little faster with this. You're checking in to school and you have this kiosk and you scan your badge down here. What's going to happen is instead of putting it in the address bar, it's going to go up and it's going to post it behind the scenes to this form. So we're looking for that. In fact, let's just let's let's change some things here just to be a little bit more clear what we're doing. Let's say if let's change this instead of search to RFID because this is what you're scanning and so if not empty post RFID so when we scan their thing if somebody submitted an RFID then RFID equals input get RFID so if somebody tried to submit an RFID we're going to sanitize the data remember that idea of sanitizing it and making sure that it's it's something that's safe to check with the database. And then we're going to go to the database and we're going to see, does this student exist? We're going to get a count of how many of those students there are. And if there is one student, which is greater than zero, then we are going to do this. We are going to come back here and we're going to say, we're going to take this right here. We're going to say student equals query first. So in other words, if we find a student by searching, this should be RFID. 
if we find a student with their RFID thing, then we're going to make that into this variable of student. And then what we're going to do is we are going to come back and we're just immediately going to update the database. So db update students, then we're going to get their ID from here. We just, we just searched for their ID. So we're going to say student ID. And then all we want to do is mark them as checked in and we're going to say one. So, and then we're, while we're here, we're going to say check in. Actually, let's do the CICO thing. Check in, check out, all in the same thing. So when we look at the logs, uh, we'll say, you know, we'll have them all in one place. And we're going to say student, I'll tell you, let's put the name. Let's go ahead and put the name. Let's do F name, L name. So we're going to get all those. We're going to get the ID, first name, last name. And we're going to come down here and we're going to say uh, student F name, student L name, checked in. At, yeah, we'll just say checked in. So, and then what we want to do is we want to redirect to the same page, checkin.php. Error equals, and then we're just going to say, let's say, we're going to say student, and let's just use their first name, F name dot checked in. Okay, so, and then if not, what we want to do is we want to come in here and do check in error. Uh, not found so to go over real quick what we've done there we have made a kiosk page and I know I'm, I'm repeating myself but I just want to make sure you understand you submit the form it goes out finds does the student exist if they exist then we're gonna get their information and we are gonna update the database and we're gonna change checked in even if it was already one we're gonna make sure the checked in says one and then we're going to log it in the database that this person checked in. And then we're going to redirect to the same page to clear out the little form. And we're going to say Dan checked in or Kimberly checked in. So let's see how it works. First thing that's going to happen is we're going to get redirected. So if I were to come in here to checked in or check in, we get redirected and we can make this available to kiosk manager or admin. And we're going to say check in and then now we come to this page we're going to scan it and it's going to say Kimberly checked in so if I were to come here to students and search for Kimberly then we can see that Kimberly is currently checked in so easy peasy there and in fact it's so easy that when we want to duplicate this one we can right click and duplicate and just change it to check out and the reason why we're repeating our code here is we want to have the ability to just have a screen that just sits there and allows people to check in check out so the exact same thing is going to happen here we're just going to change some things so we're going to change this to zero and then we're going to change these two to out so check in to check out and then we're going to change this to check out.php and then we're going to change this to checkout.php. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to say check out here. And then just for the heck of it, let's change the color of the button. Let's change it to button danger. So that should be pretty good. Less than a minute to do that. And we're going to come over here to checkout.php. And we're going to make that available to these three check out and we update and then when we scan Kimberly checked out and if we go to students.php and search for Kimberly we will see that Kimberly is checked out so you have successfully made 
a check-in, check-out system so that you can tell if your students are checked in or checked out. 